The quickest way to turn a casual get-together into a feast? Put out a charcuterie board. When I was a kid, I'd never heard of, of charcuterie or a charcuterie Neither board. Did Neither did I. Why have they blown up? It's easy to eat with friends, you know, and uh, you get a little bit of a little taste of everything. And if you want that taste of everything to have some spice and bold flavors, Skylar Estes, chef and general manager at Recreo Cantina in Chandler, Arizona, is taking your board south of the border. Let's start with a taco board. What have you given in terms of variety to make it a people pleaser? We wanted to, to feature some like low and slow kind of meats. We did the birria tacos. It's a slow roasted beef. It's really rich. Chef Estes likes to braise the beef in the broth in an oven for about eight hours. And it just makes everything really soft and tender. and Melts in your mouth. What's this guy? This is the uh, chicken tinga. It's shredded chicken that's cooked in a uh, stew of red tomatoes and Chipotle. Simmer the chicken in the stew along with garlic and onions for about eight hours and top with cilantro. And now what do we have here? Camarones, shrimp. Is there any spicing directly on the shrimp? A little bit of ancho chili powder, uh, some cumin, some uh, some coriander. All right, the, the heat on it's not overwhelming. You can still taste everything in this taco. It's beautiful. Next, a burrito board. What do we have on here? Uh, carne asada, we have shrimp, we have green chili pork. The other ones are, are quick cooked, uh -huh. quickly cooked, like the carne asada, you just grill real quick. Shrimp, you flash in a pan. For the pork, he likes to take more time. Slow and slow, we cook this for about eight hours in a green chili tomatillo poblano sauce. For people at home, what, what ought they be looking to, to balance out in terms of the other ingredients inside that burrito? If it's something is, is has a lot of like acid to it, like with the carne asada, I want to bring on something a little bit creamier. I try to hit all taste buds. Finally, mix and match with a simple quesadilla board. What makes it fit the category is that tortilla, that cheese, and then everything else is kind of the variable. For his board, he likes one to be just cheese, another to be beef, and then a veggie one. This has like almost like a, a hearty chip feel. Whenever I go out and I get a quesadilla, usually it's kind of limp, so I make sure that they get it nice and crisp. Put a dash of oil in a pan over medium heat, drop the tortilla in, and then don't touch it. That people move it around too much and then it doesn't quite caramelize. Oh yeah. I love the little bit of caramelization on this tortilla and I gotta tell you, this will be a crowd pleaser for sure. We're letting your taste buds go global with Mexican charcuterie boards.